What's up viewers? Welcome to yet another art tutorial video. Today we are gonna learn the way of shading. In the last video I just explained the theoretical way of shading but today I'm gonna perform that myself to make you understand practically better because obviously understanding practically is better than theoretically. So the materials you require here are some shading pencils ranging from HB to 10P, a compass cause I'm gonna make a circle. Cotton pieces you're gonna need for smudging the shades and an art file. So the first step is, I'm gonna draw this circle using the compass which everyone knows, like this, the normal size. Now here's when the real game begins. According to me, I'm gonna begin with the darkest shade at this side of the circle as you can see this side of the circle, the farthest shade with using a 10B pencil. As you can see that I have applied this 10B to the side. Moving on, you need to decrease the pressure of your pencil tip. Yes, decrease its pressure to lighten the shade. We're using an 8B pencil like this. So you can see this. You can see that there is a difference in the darkness of both shades. Now you have to do the same with 6B, 4B, 2B with decreasing pressure on each of them to create like this. As you can see that, um, as you can see that as I'm moving forward, moving forward, I am like lightening the shade so that it, because it resembles a real shade. It's like shadows and highlights, just what you learn digitally. Now I am using this cotton to like uh, smudge these uh, shades because if I do not do that uh, these shades are gonna look pretty rough and this can help in smoothening the shades and making them uh, like drawing more flexible not unnatural. Watch it carefully. And for the final touch to the circle give the circle a shadow here downwards. Again start with the darkest and end with the lightest as you can see that I am applying the shade like this. You have got to do the same process only you got to make the shadow downwards. Like I'm gonna make this. By this process we obtain a final output like this. This is the side which resembles shadows, which part is the darkness. Keep this side untouched because it's gonna promote a shining effect and it resembles the highlights to create. Don't shade this part. Well that's all for today's class and I'm gonna come up with another art tutorial in the future. So till then take care of, take care of yourself guys and see you in the next video.